Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another thrilling, exciting episode of SMG Oldies But Baddies uh, React Video. Uh, me and TJ, we're going to check out the latest batch of entries, and believe me, there are a ton of entries as we get closer to the end here. We're uh, at about 2,000 subscribers away from the end of the contest, and... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, like I said, there's a ton of entries here. So we're going to kind of go through these. You might see a few more of these React videos over the next couple of weeks because I'm sure there's a there's lot a of... ton. Yeah, there's a lot. And I'm sure a lot of these are awesome too. So um just want to kind of uh, show you guys what we think. So we're going to get right to it. I thought this was an incredibly cool choice for a cover song, for a metal cover. Uh, somebody did C.W. McCall's uh, song, Convoy. Now, I grew up in the 70s. I was a little kid in the 70s. And yeah, Convoy was absolutely fucking wretched. And this one's done by West Bo Borland. Oh, it's the only country song on GTA 5 I'll listen to. There you go. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, Engel. Wow. Production volume. Ah, rule number two shirt. Real drums, too. Wow! <laughs> Gotta say, I love the the lighting, the whole set, everything. I'd love to know how you pulled all this off, or pulled all that together. Obviously, obviously took his time. Yeah, put some thought into it instead of just you know using a still some, image, using you know just throwing like, something up there really quick, like Jack did. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah seriously though wow dude wonderful job that was that was really outstanding so yeah that's west borland fan uh doing uh convoy metal cover check that out that is seriously cool we're gonna make sure it links into that in the description because that's definitely uh worth taking a taking a look at seriously dude bravo well done that's just fucking outstanding thumbs up yep Okay, and I'll, this is the thing, as long as you guys keep doing videos like this, that's going to make our job incredibly different, difficult for picking a winner, because um, as, as the contest goes on, we're getting, you know, a lot of really great entries. Yeah, especially this late into it, because the guys that have been putting the time in, they're yeah. the ones, you know, putting their videos yeah. up now, after been working on them for a few weeks. And Yeah, once again, yeah. though, I got to say, that's a great choice for a song, though. Yeah, it um, is. Yeah, it's like Convoy was just fucking wretched. So way to take a bad song and make it great. Nice job, man. Seriously. Okay, next up, uh, this another real fucking wretched one. I mean, I love you guys. You guys are actually starting to get the hint here. Okay, I'm looking for bad songs, not great songs. And if there's a bad song, if there ever was a bad song, it's got to be Escape, the Pina Colada song. <laughs> this is very promising. <laughs> Does it include a singer? Cool Jackson, though. Why isn't the singer in the video? Oh, I'm digging the breakdown. Yeah. Okay. 
Not bad. Um, it would have been really cool if you had a singer because it would have been that much more hilarious. Yeah, just like some type of vocal. Yeah, I, I like the guitar work. There, there's nothing wrong with that. I would have brought the drums up in the mix a little bit. They were really fucking buried. You can tell this was mixed by a guitar player. But uh, seriously though, not bad, not no, bad. Not I'm bad a, at all. Um, I, I like there's it. nothing wrong no. with it. No, no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. There's some damn fine rhythm playing there, very nice and tight. Um, would have been cool to have somebody actually singing into the camera though. Would have been much more hilarious. Um, but yeah. not a uh, pretty solid effort. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for entering though. Uh, we'll, we'll continue. Still better than Jack. Yes. Still infinitely better than Jack. Uh, okay. So here, here's one next up. Uh, this is, uh, I got, this is the love and spoonful doing, uh, do you believe in magic? And this is done by Damien Aguila. Aguila. I can't fucking pronounce your name, dude. My oh, apologies. This guy was just watching our, uh, live stream. Oh, Okay. All right, cool. Well, yeah, hey, Damien, we, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching. We're, we, we answered a couple questions there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we definitely want to check this out. Okay, he must be a drummer because he's got the one, two, three, four written down. Very cool. Um, but here, here's something. Okay, now, I think the last time anybody ever actually heard this song was in the uh, American Pie soundtrack because that was like what their chorus uh, thing did. They did Do You Believe in Magic? The uh, band camp? Yeah. Well, no, not band camp. The, the original American Pie. Remember when he was, was trying to pick up the yeah, chorus, yeah, chorus yeah, chicks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. was the You're song they were doing. Yeah. I know this who is, the, this about, is yeah. the song they were doing. Now, here's the interesting thing. My dad played an awful lot of Love and Spoonful when I was a kid. You know, he uh, we had a motorhome and we used to travel around a lot. And he had an eight track player. So, you know, I, I had a steady diet of fucking, you know, John Denver. Eagles, fucking Love and Spoonful, Neil Diamond, all kinds of stuff like that. My dad liked singers, you know what I mean? So, Oh, no, that sounds like torture. Yeah, no, actually, fuck, I didn't <laughs> mind the Love and Spoonful, but yeah, this song is pretty fucking hokey. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll say this, though. Okay, the best metal cover I had ever heard of a Love and Spoonful song was actually done by a, a Detroit band back in the mid-'80s. Uh, the group was called Weapons, and they just did an absolutely ripping version of Summer in the City. And if you go on YouTube, it's still on there. If you If you take a look, it's pretty fucking fucking cool actually but yeah let's check this one out okay i can't make any mistakes right now so one two three four one two three four i think i'm ready yeah <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a synth bass. Pardon? Obviously a synth bass. Yeah. Oh, we got a docu's points, man. You're wearing a Jared Dine shirt. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, nice solo. <laughs> all right, all right. Not bad. Like the solo. Vocals are a little out of key, but um, yeah, 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 not a bad, not a bad effort at no. all. Good, good solid good. groove in there though. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know. Yeah, solid. I, th I think if the vocal performance been a little stronger, it probably would have been really fucking cool. Uh yeah. love the guitar solo though. Great job on that, man. But um okay, moving well, on. I might say, you know, it might be uh English not a first language also. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah. But that that's no excuse for not for being out of key. No, 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 not yeah. Bitch, please. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm just taking my hoodie off. Fuck. <laughs> What do you think you are? Your house? Fuck. <laughs> hey, you think I'm protocol leaving my bottles all over the okay. studio? The angry jan Okay, next up is the angry janitor doing It's Tricky by Run DMC. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll admit this is not my um, area of expertise here. I love this song. Uh, I've seen the video once. So, uh, you know, they had Penn and Teller in it or something like yep. that. I think uh, they, they this was in the uh, soundtrack for Road Trip. 
I know it was. Do you remember the, the movie uh, Road Trip? Where, I, you know, I never actually DJ seen it. DJ Qualls and whatnot. Okay, um, that was a pretty funny movie. I think it was in this. But it was catchy also, fucking tune. It was also the lead track um, on SSX Tricky, the uh, snowboarding game. Oh, cool! Right on. Uh, anyway, catchy, catchy song. Let's see. Let's see what yeah. this guy does with it. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> this speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around the throne of time and trick and use the title. <laughs> wow. Nice. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Oh, actually, smack him. Come on. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, come on. Make it look like I'm like. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Amazing job. That was fucking great. That was fucking awesome. I don't think the original was a bad song though. No. That's the thing. It's like, again, guys, it's it's oldies but baddies, not oldies but you know, cool songs. Yeah, like I, I loved, like I was a big Run DMC guy in high school. Wait, so that like was a, that was a year. catchy, catchy song. It wasn't my wasn't my genre, but I do fucking get it. You know that had a really solid groove. Yeah, hooks like hell. You did an amazing job here. Though. Yeah, so fuck. it's like that was entertaining. That was fuck. that was an incredible job, dude. Seriously. So that's gonna be tough. I I don't think I can hand you the fucking grand prize for that mainly because you picked a good song, but um, you're definitely in the tops for sure. Without yeah. a doubt, that that was one of the best videos we've seen so far. Yeah. Fucking so, hilarious! So I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put you and Alex, what's his face, into a category like you know, um, dumb fucks who can't fucking pay attention to basic rules. Fishing Eleanor Rigby, it's tricky. Okay, no, I, don't, I never liked Eleanor Rigby. Either. Yeah, well, I did. So fuck off. <laughs> um, here we go. Um, I'm not in love. Metal cover for SMG oldies but baddies. I hope this is that horrible cheesy fucking um, song from the '70s that I'm thinking it is. We'll we'll find out here. This is by Pedro Rivera. <laughs> nice shirt. Yep. What's the name of this song? Wow. <laughs> nice backup vocals. Holy shit. Ha, ha, ha. 
Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there. Yeah, well done, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Seriously. Cheers. That, that was really well done. I don't know the original. Oh, I know the original. Yeah, the original is terrible. It's like this <laughs> soft, slow rock piece. And it, yeah, it's fucking hideous. So yeah, well done. Great vocals, great harmonies. Yep. I love that. Um, I'm just noticing, you know, you got little Samson monitors and whatnot. I'm just noticing the mix was a little tinny. So um, I'd say you probably want to get some corner traps in your room uh, because you've definitely got some acoustic issues going on there and it's definitely affecting your mix. But that, um, so that's nitpicking. I'm just, you know, hey, I'm, I'm just pointing stuff out that, yeah. I, that I know is a fairly, fairly easy fix. You can build some traps. Uh, check out my video on that, and that will probably help you out an awful lot. But seriously, though, great job. I love the vocals. Those, those were awesome. So well done. Well done. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is gonna be a tough one to pick a winner with this, man. Holy fuck. Okay, somebody did uh, the police every breath you take. This was actually the f song. Uh, me and my wife danced to for the first song at her wedding. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how we do that. But I can understand why some people would hate this. It's the police. Yeah. Bit of a doom metal thing. Bit of a doom metal thing going on. Wow. I like the vocals. This is pretty cool, yeah. actually. I was gonna say, very well done. My issue is the vocals are too low. It's, the guitars are way too loud in the mix, yeah. and they're burying the vocals. That's just, again, it's a mix thing. Uh, vocals have to take precedence over everything, especially with something like this. You got a good vocal performance. There we go. That was pretty well done, man. I like the vocals on that a lot. Actually. I like how you how you work with the lower vocals and the higher vocals. That was really fucking cool. Interesting take on on that on that track. That was pretty cool. Like I said, I don't really didn't really hate that song to begin with, but um, you know, if if it annoyed the shit out of you, okay, more I can I can see how that one would yeah, grade a little see, bit. Yeah, especially that I one always, got overplayed a lot when we were kids. Yeah, I always dug that song, but yeah, that's just yeah, me. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, somebody did Believe It or Not by, J by Joey Scarberry. This was the uh, theme to The Greatest American Hero. So, okay, this is... Dude, you shot 30 frames. You should be shooting 24. <laughs> That's my only gripe so far. <laughs> All right, this, this is fucking great. Yeah, this is nicely done. Horribly on a key, but that's fine. And the effort is there. I'll take the effort with a little bit of about a key. Then, yeah. Oh, he, he said right at the beginning he yeah. can't sing, but yeah, the effort's definitely there. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, okay, we get it. Yeah. Nicely done, man. Wow. That was fucking great. That, that, was, that was really well yeah. done. Yeah. Nice job, man. Seriously. Fuck, this is going to be tough to pick a fucking winner. We're getting a lot of good Fuck, stuff. Fuck, we haven't had a single dud really in this entire video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, rock set the look. Okay, don't, you spoke too soon. <laughs> 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 he cupped the mic. Oh God, this looks pretty good. Very promising so far. Kind of looks like Rafinski. Kind of looks like Rafinski there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, did you kidnap Chris Rafinski? <laughs> <laughs> Love the cup on the mic. Wow. I like the Macho Man yep. shit, I'll say that. Good vocal performance. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. <laughs> Damn wicked solo, holy fuck. Wow, nicely done, man. Holy shit, that was great. I'm not even familiar with the original. I know the song, the original was terrible. That is fuck. fucking awesome, man. Holy that fuck. That was good. Yeah, that was really good. Fuck. Killer solo, man. Holy fuck. Great playing. Great pl great playing. Great vocals. That's what it's all about that right there. Holy solid. fuck. And, and a funny fucking video, too. Like, yeah, seriously. Holy shit. Wow. Uh, that was my play the damn thing. So good job, yeah. man. Holy fuck. Wow. Oh. oh, somebody did Hazy Shade of Winter. This was originally by Simon and Garfunkel and then covered by the Bangles in the 80s. So I don't know. I kind of like the song, but it was kind of cheesy too. So there you go. I, I remember I always used to play this riff, uh, you know, my teenage years because I thought it was cool. But yeah, the whole song, especially the Bangles, was kind of lame. So yeah, I can see why. This would make it on the oldies but baddies list. Let's see what he does here. But this this riff is actually metal as fuck. Let's see how let's see how this turns out. Good there? Yeah, keep it in your yeah, free. Yeah, yeah. I'm popping it in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Chucky scary shade of winter. Oh god. Chuck Lansing. Okay, Chuck, impress us. Please be like evil dead level of cheese. Yeah, that's Oh, cool! Oh. Playing a Mark Wood electric violin. Damn! Okay, props for fucking playing on a fretted violin, man. That's awesome. That is, that's fucking cool. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, don't put kids in, in metal videos. <laughs> Unless they're in coarse paint. <laughs> <laughs> Because that would just ah, be great. Okay, that was really cool, Chuck. That Fuck. was very unexpected. And that, yeah. that was just really cool, man. Uh, but the only guy I knew who ever played fucking fretted violin was Mark Wood. 
Um, so, hey, fucking hats off to you, man. I'm wondering if that's one of Mark Wood's uh, designed violins because he d- he did the fucking he had a he had a fucking flying V fretted violin and he kind of designed that whole thing. Mm. So, fucking cool, man. Fuck, man Seriously. The style of it was right up my alley, man. Yeah, Fuck, that, that's the shit I listen to all the time. Is that kind of style? Okay. Anyway, uh, now we've got a next one is in French. Francois Hardy cover. Um, yeah, it's a uh, Je n'attends plus personne. Um, um, so I it, wonder, I wonder if that's if that punk fucking song. I don't know. It doesn't say poutine, so I have no idea what it is. So we'll, we'll check this out here. I only know like one French rock song, and it was a punk song. We'll see what we do. And this is not it, I don't think. I like the vocals. This yeah. is cool, but I don't know the song, unfortunately. So we checked out the original. Okay, wow. Very cool, man. That's a, a very different take. Unfortunately, yeah, we don't really know the song, but uh, I'm yeah, fucking that's, digging it though. Yeah, man. that's Shit. a really nice job, dude. Holy fuck, uh, you guys are making my job tough. You guys are making my job really tough. All these cool fucking covers you guys are doing. Okay, somebody's doing head over heels. I really hope this is the Go Go Go's version. That melody sounds very familiar. Nice drumming. Wow. Then I remember, yeah, that's probably all samples. (laughs) Nice drumming, I hope. (laughs) All right, all right, okay. We'll do, we got time for one more here. A heavy metal cover of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and... Looks like somebody's put their kids on a roof. Okay. I'm already liking this already. Did Daddy 05 shoot this? Talk about parental irresponsibility. Dude, I'm bladed weapons and kids. I'm sold. On a rooftop. Yeah. What could could possibly go wrong? Not a lot. Let's see here. Oh, God. Wow! (laughs) Wow! Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Dennis Ross, you fucking rock, buddy. Wow, nicely done. Oh, Bravo. Oh, holy shit. That was great, Fuck. man. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got one more here. Everybody wants to rule the world by farting the wind. Oh, man. But yeah, that turtle song, fuck. That, yeah, that was great, that man. Was well great. done. That was awesome. Not a bad song, though. Yeah. No. This is a bad song. Everybody wants to rule the world. Yes. I just heard this last night. Oh, wow. Nice camera work. It. Holy shit. Look at this. A little bit of the old uh, uh, gimbal action there. Nice job. Nice fake mullet. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. We got to drink beer in the park. Ugh, my, just Why do you have a Gumby in your video? <laughs> That's the drummer, I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> yep, I really hate this song. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I can't take it anymore. I hate that fucking song. It has to die now. <laughs> I don't mind that, man. Shit. No, no, no. You guys did a pretty good job, and I think that's all I can take of that. <laughs> Fuck, I hate Tears for Fears. <laughs> oh, God. Nice job, guys. I, I just can't take it anymore. Ugh. God, I fucking hate that song. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you guys for actually revealing his Achilles heel. <sighs> I know how the next time I'm going to wake him up and get him on video when we're on a road trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It'll be fucking worth it. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck you, Glenn. I quit. Just crank it and walk <laughs> in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, TJ. Anyway, oh, all you, right. Glenn. <laughs> All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to everybody who entered. Um, holy crap, those are some amazing entries this episode. We've got at least one or two more of these to go uh, before we wrap it up. Like I said, we got about mm, 2,100 subscribers to go uh, till the end of the contest. So the contest is still open. Just remember, do a bad song from the 60s, 70s, or 80s, not the 90s. I know a few few of you people yeah. tried sneak, sneaking some 90s songs, and it's like, sorry, no, you have to be able to follow basic instructions. Pearl Jam doesn't count, boys. Yeah, whoever did the Pearl Jam cover, no, 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 no Pearl Jam covers this time around. Hang on, though. We might do a contest later on and do like some wretched 90s songs, like, you know, like pretty much everything by Nirvana. I agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck. There you go. Well, with one exception, but. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, there's exceptions to everything. But yeah, anyway, um, this definitely won't be our only contest, but yes, we've got a couple weeks to go with this. Um, yeah, competition's getting pretty fierce in this. There's some really great entries. Like, nice job, guys. Seriously. Well, a whole bunch of great entries this time. Yeah, around. holy shit. Yeah. All right. That's it uh, for this episode. Anything to say? No. Cheers, okay. boys. Okay. Take Keep it easy. Keep them coming. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.